Well, we got another package. All right, let's check it out. Well, good doggy. Welcome back to another unboxing video. Today we have something from Luth AR. Feel free to check them out. Large variety of items and an interesting history behind the company and its founder, Luth AR. So let's go ahead and get you out of the way. Thank you. And let's see how we can get this open. This is the bottom of the box, so we'll be careful. Okay. Looks like I got a manifest and a card. Some stickers. and the items <clears throat> okay so I needed some random parts to do some additional projects but let's take a quick look at the stickers very cool designs there so you can see there Luth AR some contact info and here we have 2B41 so you can see what it stands for there Keep those in prominent view and let's see what our card is. Oh, it's advertisement for the MCA 22 Rimfire chassis designed for Ruger 1022 and similar actions and barrels. So if you're actually putting together a similar 1022 platform off of a receiver block and barrel set, etc. And uh, you can set that up with this, I guess. Very interesting. All right, so real quickly, this is, if I match up against the manifest, again, Luthayar. This is a rear sling swivel. So if you're familiar with the butt stock on, say, an m16 m4 uh even the collapsible stock they tend to have this style of rear sling swivel mounted in this position if this is the side facing your shoulder on the stock the barrel pointing that way this is oriented typically this way so then your sling would mount on here and continue towards the front of your item so includes you know, the sling swivel itself, this will then mount to the stock, and this is a screw to help mount that onto there. So, we have a rear sling swivel with the screw. Next up, I wanted to actually do some retro uh, assembly. And I actually have the A1 style smooth grips, but believe it or not, I didn't actually have any extra A2 style grips. So what these are, are four new A2 grips. You can see how new, I mean, still have some of the mold separation uh, material on there, but you can see how the hatch pattern is on the grip surface. So it's vertical lines and the finger bump. So you can see with my hand here, there, in the proper position, it just fits my hand. So actually, uh, years ago, these weren't very comfortable for me, but I've actually grown into it. So I've got four of these. You can see the little spring hole there and the center hole for the screw that will attach it to your item so four of the a2 style grip it's right there might as well pull this out too just gonna look at it All right, last up, I'm not going to go into too much detail on these, but these are some uh, 
let's say, ambidextrous safety levers. So I'm going to cover up the center uh, core for reasons, but feel free to check them out. They do have a large variety of items, including these ambidextrous safeties. You can see how they will be mounted with these locking screws. Again, we got two uh, lever bars, one on each side of your unit, and this side is the flush side without the screw. Safety levers here. So, going through some uh, parts from Luth AR. Feel free to check them out. A large variety of items. Luth AR. This has been another unboxing video. Feel free to check out other unboxing videos on the channel. We also do show and tell videos. We do a selection of book review, media reviews. Feel free to check all those out. Feel free to like and subscribe. And thanks for watching. See you next time.